Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and we're here in the middle of nowhere to talk about the radio frequency readings I'm picking up on this electrosmog meter. Uh, you'll notice that we have a display on the left that tells you the actual value. On the right is a bar graph. Now, I'm in a rental car. Uh, it's a Nissan Versa and it's currently off. I'm going to turn the car on. And I want to see what actually happens with the radio frequencies of this car. So the car's now on. Uh, a couple of spikes are starting to pop up. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn it the whole way on. There we go, we've got a whole bunch of radio frequency spikes have just come through. And we're not actually running right now, the car is off. So we have the key turned to the first switch. And I'm going to start the car up. So the ignition is on, but the car's not running. And this is what we've got. So, a low radio frequency on this meter. I'm going to start it up. Okay, car's now running. So, we seem to be getting some very strange radio frequency emissions out of this car. And and that quite interesting. There's no evidence in the car that we actually have radio frequency transmissions inside this car. Although I will say that this stereo does have an apps button and it appears to work on Bluetooth. So here we go, we've got another burst of radio frequency radiation coming through on the car. So all this that you can see on this bar graph display and those high numbers all seems to be coming from the car. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the car. So I'm going to turn the switch off. Everything's off. Here's our display. And we just lost all the radio frequency. So I'm going to turn the car back on. some bursts of radio frequency when it first starts up and let's just watch it for a minute and see what happens. So our car is running and you notice that it's got a digital display as well as the analog dials. So let's look at our radio frequency meter and the radio frequency meter is say, it's basically saying that there's a lot of radio frequency in this car and it's coming from the car. And the last time I will turn it off and we should see that all disappear. The car is now off and the radio frequency has disappeared. I thought it was very, very interesting and uh, I probably would not be purchasing one of these cars in the future because of that radio frequency emission that the car has. Hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.